Uh, the mayor has gotten a lot of criticism over this, but he's really standing his ground, and that's despite calls from hundreds of people who say they're still waiting for the plows. It's a bumpy ride in this Muldoon neighborhood, whether you're in a big truck or a small car. John Reagan lives here, and he's had enough. Unless I go buy a cat grater, I can't do anything more, and, uh, and, and so I'm still waiting for my city to show up. He's not alone. East Anchorage Assembly member Karen Bronga says she's still getting calls. This morning, I probably had eight to 10 people say they have yet to see a plow, not even after the first storm. Ronga says in a city planning meeting in July, the city promised it could handle the snow. We were ready, willing, and able to pay for whatever repairs or new equipment was needed, and we were told that they were perfectly ready. Mayor Bronson says the city was prepared, but the state was not. He said state roads were in such poor condition, he considered it an emergency that warranted pulling city plows out of neighborhoods and putting them on the bigger roads. These major roads were the roads that our ambulances and our fire trucks and our police cars go on. So as a matter of public safety, I made the decision to uh, plow their streets with their permission. The state DOT commissioner says so much snow fell, they were unable to completely plow all the secondary roads the state is responsible for. He also says they lack graders, which would have done a better job. But when you get this hard pack that gets packed on that, you really got to get the graders out of there. And that's, and that's where, you know, the Muni does have, that's, that's what they do. Um, we have some graders, but not not as many. I mean, we, we focus more on the big, you know, the bigger highways with those trucks. The state says it didn't meet its own timeline set out to plow roads and is evaluating how it could have done a better job. Now, the mayor has also gotten some criticism that he used city resources without having a formal or written agreement with the state as to who would pay for them. But the mayor told me today that he had assurances from the governor's chief of staff as well as the DOT commissioner that the state would pick up the bill. Michael Murray.